Hello everybody and welcome back to another lesson. This is John with e-commerce tutorial and in this video we'll cover how to install an SSL certificate on our domain name so we can create that secure bridge between your customer's computer and your online store. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing of course I'll do is uh, I'll open up my Firefox browser or your browser choice and I'll navigate to the to the particular hosting company that I'm using in this case is Bluehost um, which uh, I love and I've been using for the past six years without any issues so what I'll do is of course I click the login button at the very top and then I'll type in my primary domain that I'm using for my account and my password and I'll click the submit button to log in. I'll be redirected to my cPanel. Um, like I mentioned, you can install your own SSL certificate really easy through a cPanel based web host. Bluehost is one, HostGator is another great choice. Um, uh, off the top of my mind, a few others that I know of a few other companies that I know that use uh, cPanel are HostMonster. Uh, not all of them will have the same exact user interface that Bluehost does. Bluehost uses the latest cPanel software. So for example, if you're using HostGator, this might look a little outdated, but uh, you'll still have the same options. Just not, it probably just doesn't look as clean and as streamlined as this. But um, if you are using a cPanel based host, like I mentioned, this is going to be super easy. What you'll want to do is you'll go to the add-ons menu at the very top. And then you'll uh, scroll down and you'll look for SSL certificates. As you can see here, it's a product and they have different versions for uh, different uh, you know for the, they have different versions of their SSL certificates such as positive positive wildcard Komodo SSL Komodo wildcard SSL and uh, if you want a, a more in-depth uh, look at the, the all the different options from these four products you can check out the website there's a nice table with all of the benefits uh, there for you. Now in my case I only need an SSL for my uh, fictitious, uh, for my online fictitious business which is um, Boots for Less. Which is of course the online boot store that I'm building alongside you guys and that is an add-on domain that I have on my account so as you can see here I have an option where it says install SSL on johnludina.com which is my primary domain but as you already know I'm a web designer so I have uh, other domains associated with my Bluehost account which of course you can have unlimited domains uh, so I have domains for clients and uh, small project websites so I have to make sure and this may not be the case for you if you only have one domain associated with your Bluehost account but you if you are like me you gotta make sure you click on that drop down and then you select the add-on that you need which in my case would be Boots for Less and if you don't know what an add-on domain is or how to associate an additional domain with your uh, with your Bluehost account uh, please check out one of the previous lessons I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that so now that I have the right domain selected, what I'll do is I'll select the positive SSL uh, because that's the right product for me. I only need that for my domain, which is exactly what positive SSL does. Uh, if I was going with a wildcard domain, uh, with a positive wildcard, that would also secure um, all first level subdomains. So what does that mean exactly? Let's say you have your primary domain, in this case mine would be www.bootsforless.net. If, if I had a subdomain 
um, like shop that boots for less that net the word shop instead of www that means that's our subdomain so shop x as a subdomain now if i was choosing a positive ssl that means the shop would not be secure um, because this the the cheapest uh, ssl the bluehost uh, offers only covers your primary domain which is your www domain now if you had a, a subdomain like shop dot your primary domain name or any other subdomain for that matter and you wanted all those covered then the positive wildcard SSL would be for you but in this case we're trying to keep everything cheap uh, and affordable or as, as affordable as we can get it especially since we're just trying to start our website our e-commerce site so what we'll do is select the positive SSL option click add to cart Now I'll get a, I have, of course, a positive SSL as of this recording, it's $49 a year. Um, this will apply to, of course, my main domain uh, and www.bootsforless.net, which in this case, www is, acts as a subdomain of sorts, right? Um, then auto renew, then add to cart. Now, when you when you go to your shopping cart, you probably see these things. One item will be your SSL certificate. Now, the next item will be it's called a dedicated IP. And what is that exactly? You may ask yourself. A dedicated IP is a dedicated IP address that your domain will have, and this is a requirement for installing an SSL certificate. Now. Uh, price is not that much uh, it's fairly affordable 333 a month um, it will cover the you know uh, it will cover your domain for a year or in this case 10.67 months um, you know just the remainder of my hosting package so in my case it would be 3553 for the year now um, like I said this is a uh, this applies to just your uh, the SSL certificate applies to your domain that you chosen the dedicated IP address as you can see here it's going to give me an IP address for my uh, for my account for my primary account so you don't have to worry about that too much now of course all I need to do here is uh, since I already have my credit card on file I just type in my CVC code and then click process order. You can say yes. Okay, so now that our SSL order is complete and we have added a certificate to our hosting package or domain we are now ready to continue so as you can see here I'm looking at the checkout page on my store and if you look up on a corner top left corner here you'll see your URL for your domain of course mine is www.bootsforless.net so that is my just regular URL it's not a secure this page has not uh, it's not being forced over SSL at this point so what we need to do is go to the back of WooCommerce and force that page to be checked out um, to pass through an SSL certificate through our brand new SSL certificate so as you can see here I only have PayPal enabled uh, until I enable that SSL checkout option I will not be able to use Stripe to let my customers check out through Stripe as well and uh, you know just being able to for them to be able to input their credit card numbers and check out through my own site and not through PayPal so what we want to do is go to the back end of WordPress again and right now I'm looking at the WooCommerce settings and I'm looking at the checkout tab this is our final step 
and as you can see here I'm looking at Stripe and even though I no longer in test mode I, like I said you won't be able to use that option until we force a secure checkout so what we'll do is make sure we're under the checkout options which is the very first option under the checkout tab and then make we'll just check the for secure checkout and then the unforce HTTPS when leaving checkout to prevent any errors with any hard-coded URLs then uh, all you gotta do is save changes and finally we'll just go ahead and refresh our checkout page If I scroll down, there we go. Now we have a option for Stripe uh, Gateway. And this is uh, in live mode, of course. And if you actually take a look at your URL now, you'll see that we have a new lock icon, which shows you the verified by Komodo, which is the, the company that provides the SSL, or the name of the SSL, and our brand new HTTPS uh, URL. So that means we're under a secure checkout portal. So that's pretty much it. That's a fairly simple process. Um, uh, I didn't want to make this lesson any longer than it needs to be. So like I said, it's a fairly easy uh, deal. If you have a cPanel host, it's just a matter of adding that SSL certificate to your uh, to your required domain and that's it and then go into WooCommerce and make sure you check that option so I guess that, that'll do it for today if you want to check out more lessons or other e-commerce resources please make sure you check out the site at ecommercetutorial.net all right till next time